All right, we are ready. All right, so it is early in the morning right now, and I just got done watching some YouTube videos, and one of those videos was uh, from a guy I follow making stuff and breaking stuff, and he just did a review of the Milwaukee work light. And he did some endurance tests. He threw it up in the air like 20 feet. I was excited about that to see the results. So what you should do is go check his channel out really quick. Uh, check out his review of the area light. But that motivated me to do this video right now. This is the hybrid P795 18 volt one plus hybrid LED color changing light. And the lumens on here, it actually might say all right, so this this is a 1200 lumen Cree LED light system. There's approximately eight LEDs inside, and they are color changing lights. You can put it warm, all the way to uh, cool lighting. All right, so there is a tripod mount hole right there. There are two screw holes one above it and one below it and then there are four uh, there are two uh, plus symbols to where you could have screws in there as well and then you could uh, shift it left to right or up to lock it in place depending on on how you want to mount it to the wall so that's a good option to have so it could lock into place no matter what direction you need it to go darkness is not coming anytime soon we're gonna take the I actually haven't used this up in the attic yet I just used the flashlight and the, where is the area light? Which that's inside. Uh, so we're gonna use this up in the attic right now. So let's go up there and test this bad boy out and see how far it'll, uh, it'll shine. Down there, I might need to change my camera settings cause yeah, I, I yeah, I'm not sure what, uh, yeah, the, the camera is limited to what it can see, but I can see in detail the wood all the way down there. I can even tell that they painted. But let's see if I can take a picture of it and I can show you guys. No, oh, but this light's good, though. This light's extremely, extremely good. Yeah, it's, I don't know why you guys can't, why the camera doesn't read that all the way down there. So yeah, we got some stuff up here in the attic, but uh, but yeah, th this light is extremely bright. Now let's see what happens when we turn it to yellow. So yes. All right, but as you can see, the design itself is actually awesome. I love the way that this looks. And it does perform very well when it comes to lighting an area. It is roughly $69.99, I believe it was, when I got it. And it works with all the freaking, uh, it works with all the batteries from the 4 amp hour, sorry, from the, a regular 1.3 to 2 amp hour battery size to the 9 amp hour battery size. And so that's the benefit of this. It doesn't matter what battery you get. It's not going to really make a huge dent on the profile when it comes to where you can uh, put this. Because the battery goes on the back, it just sits like that. Now, if the this... Uh, to tighten it up from uh, preventing it from moving is actually pretty strong. So you just tighten that up and no matter what position you want, it stays. So 
even with the 9 amp hour, it shoots all the way up. It goes all the way up. So, 360 degree rotation with all batteries. So this this was very well designed. So I do have other lights as well. I have this area light which is uh, equipped with a USB charger which I think is cool. It does have a USB charger in it. And I have both versions of the flashlight. Now when it comes to this flashlight, I replaced the uh, original light with an LED light. So it is actually a lot brighter. It is a lot brighter than the original bulb. So I'm not sure if you could see that. Let's actually try to... There you go. So that's in there. It is it is a lot brighter of a light. So that those are the four lights that I have. So this one's good for like uh, going to the drive-in, going to going camping, uh, sitting by the fire, you know, or st stuff like that, to where you don't want a directional light to, that would actually blind people from seeing what they're doing. There you go. As you can see, it's not that bright. I could look directly at it and it doesn't blind you. So this area, this area light serves a purpose. It, it does uh, shine the area up pretty good, but not enough to where it would blind everyone from doing what you're doing in this situation. These ones are simple. These ones are flashlights. You know, they both are equipped with LEDs on them. When it comes to the prices, this one is uh, $35, I believe tool only you know and it comes with the usb port there are three settings high medium low no so high and medium and that's it so then th this one is 25 dollars for this light so this one i don't think you, you can get this one individually on ebay or amazon but you cannot get this individually at the store because this one comes with a kit it, it comes with a dimmer light that will not be as bright as this because I got the LED light for that. And so this one, uh, separately, the same thing as this, to, uh, f between $15 and $25, depending on the seller. So yes, uh, I bought this uh, before I bought this. So because I, th I think this one looks cooler, but this one's a little bit more efficient be because this one could go onto a uh, two by four. The, the, this is designed right here, the handle, and the, the top of this is designed to slide into a 2x4. I've never actually done it, so let's do that. Ooh, that's actually on there snug. Just like that, and of course, both of the heads rotate. They, these heads rotate, uh, I'd say 200, no, 300 and 350 degrees, because it doesn't rotate all the way around. You're missing a few degrees because of that. So, so that's that's that. That's on there snug, actually. I like that. Same thing with this. This head rotates just like so. So let's see if this... Nope, a 2x4 does not fit in there. I was wrong. It does not fit. But it fits in this one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not that bad. It is not that bad. So... That's pretty much it. Make sure it's not overexposing the shot. That's pretty much it for this episode. I just want to talk about the the lights that I have really quick. And so the main one, the main interesting one is the hybrid version. The other ones are awesome. I wish the hybrid version had a USB port on it like this one does. I mean that's seriously that's seriously awesome that you could charge your phone with this. So, that's pretty much it, that, and that pretty much concludes this episode of the review of the lights, and uh, that's pretty much it. I don't need to do an individual video for each of these. They're, they're lights. 
they are light. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.